Hi everyone, how are you guys doing today? Good. Great, my name is Stanley Zamora and I'm a certified family mediator. Uh, I do a lot of other things, but what I also love doing besides being a family mediator and a circuit mediator, which basically is helping families and businesses and people get along, right? I like doing workshops on a variety of topics to students from fifth grade to high school to college, as well as teachers and administrators. So today at Pines Charter, what we're going to do is something on group dynamics and cliques and what they are and how they affect us as students. And sometimes I find the best way to teach and to show, or to teach, is to show. Okay? So we're going to have a brief um, skit, which is actually going to be on camera, so hi to the studio audience that's uh, going to be watching us in the future. And we're going to have a brief skit, it's going to be short, but it's going to set us up for the discussion for today. Okay, ready for that? Yeah. Okay, my acting skills and style is not that great, so forgive me for right now. I'll let you know when we start and when we stay, when we end. And we're starting now. Dad sitting down, daughter's coming home from school. Hey, baby, how are you? Hi, you, you just gonna walk by and not even say hi? Hi. Hey, how are you? Hey, hey, ho, 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 Something's going on with you. You know, I know I, I know you. Something's going on. It's, it's too much of a problem. Well, I don't know. I don't know if there's anything in school. I don't even know why. Now, group of kids. Now, is this a group of kids? Is this a clique? Or are they being mean? Or are they bullying? You know, there's a difference. I mean, it's the same thing. There's maybe Ashley's, Ashley's friends. Like, they unfollowed me on Twitter. I don't know. There's Ashley's on your Oh, wow. That's how serious. And break. So. <laughs> That's a real life situation. Have any of you guys experienced that at all, even on the lowest level? Yes. Yeah. 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 Ever been cool with some friends or a group of kids, and all of a sudden they just are like, don't even know who you are? Yeah. Well, that's kind of what we're going to talk about today. Hopefully, I'm going to enlighten you guys on what that means and what, how that affects you. And you know what? I'm guaranteeing you guys are going to help me too. Because what I find is when I'm in front of a group speaking about certain things, there's nothing better than the collective knowledge in the room. So I'm going to take for you guys to a voice up and speak out and definitely let me learn from you, okay? Okay. So, clicks, groups. The best way to start even analyzing and understanding them is why they exist, right? So let's do our first opening activity, which I hope you find fun. I find this fun. What's going to happen is this. I'm going to make a statement. I'm going to ask a question. There's going to be a yes or a no, or you just agree with it. If you agree with it, I'd like you to stand up. Or raise your hand for those that are in front of the camera so you don't block the camera. Okay? And then the best part of this example is we're going to be quiet and realizing who's around us and who stood up. Now, part of learning is being courageous. So some of these questions are going to sound fun and easy, but then some might move into a little bit more personal. Okay? So if you feel a little bit shy, that's fine, that's okay. But I want you to understand, by you having the courageousness to stand up and say, yes, I've experienced that, by not even saying anything, those that are around you are learning from you. Okay? So, ready to start? Remember the directions. I'm going to make a statement or ask a question. If you agree with it, you're going to stand up. And I'll tell you when to sit back down. But first is no talking at all. all right? And even those in the future that will be watching this, you stand up in your class as well, as long as your teacher uh, gives you the direction of not being disturbing to everyone else. Okay? So, first question. I love ice cream and other tasty desserts.
Okay? Um, in fact, some of those types of ideas turns into a us versus them. Right? You guys know what a clique is? Mm -hmm. Click? You know what a clique is? Uh, a, clique, a clique is like a group of people in, mostly in school that are, are, re are really inclusive and, and, they don't, and it's not easy for you to get into them. Like groups of friends, group, uh, school clubs that are just getting to ac academic clubs, stuff, stuff like that. That's a great answer. Yeah, that's a great answer. There's one back here. Another example? Or he just stole your thunder. He just answered yeah, it so perfectly. Go ahead, yeah, let's hear it. No, I was going to answer the same thing. Oh, exact same way? What was words? No, no, it's like, it's smaller. Okay, good, good, good. That's your question. Next activity, I guess, for this group and those in the future. Alright? Um, how many people, and again, with this one, I want you to just raise your hands. And again, no names, no side eye contact, look directly at me, I don't want them to feel uneasy. How many people are part of a group? Okay. I appreciate it, I see something like this. Oh. Okay, hands down. How many people have been excluded from clicks? Honestly, I like it. It sounds so good, doesn't it? The clique. The clique de moon. You know, it sounds like, oh, wow, right? Clique is actually a French word that, just a special word, that means small group of people together for a particular purpose, but definitely meant to exclude others. So cliques can be not so nice things sometimes. Nothing wrong with being part of a clique. Nothing wrong with being part of a group. As long as you're doing it for particular reasons and you understand the dynamics of a group. The dynamics of a clique. All groups, all cliques have levels to them. You've got to have a leader. That's what happens in forms naturally, right? You've got to have the outspoken person. You've got to have the one that's not so outspoken. Correct? Right? You just have to know your dynamics in the clique. Alright? It's important. It's okay to share ideas. It's okay to be included. But that's the dangers of cliques, and that's the dangers of groups. And that's what I'm hoping we're watching and learning about today, all right? That those groups and those cliques, as long as they're not being exclusive, they could definitely be positive. And your job from watching this and now being aware, and of course, with all the different things going around, internet, cyber everything, or the interweb, or whatever the brand new name is going to be called, is to recognize what things are turning into groups and good ideas and then therefore moving into the cliques which is more singular and more private and private to different ideas. And you know what sometimes cliques are also made of? Or why they look forming? Besides just the general, we like us, <coughs> ice blue pens. They start to be prejudiced about things. And prejudice about people and ideas. You ever know what prejudice means? Yeah, go ahead. To be prejudiced means what? To prejudge. You're prejudging someone. You're saying, hey, that short guy over there is too short. He can't want to play basketball with us. Oh, hey, they look a little bit funny. They, 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 they can't really want to go shopping with us on a Saturday night. You know, and you just start to prejudge and exclude people without realizing it. But there's things that you can do. Things that you can act and react to to hopefully open up those clips when they start to be inward focused and only us and we're the best and we're the coolest and we're the it girls or the it guys. I'm not sure that's what now you use nowadays. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, I'm showing my okay. The fancy boys and girls with the nice shoes and the high top this and the best of that. You know I see clips that are formed on phones. You can't be part of our club because we have the new iPhone 17. That could, I don't know, tie a shoe, I don't know. But people are being excluded because of the phones they have. Or the phones they don't have and should have. I don't know. Hmm. What are some ways you guys can give examples of how you would react to a click that's right next to you? Or you're trying to or they're trying to exclude you. You don't want to be brave enough to say what they would do. Uh, for one, you feel pretty awkward and 
And two, you, you also have a feeling of uh, abnormality. You, you don't feel normal, and, and you see them actually talking about you when you're right next to them, and you feel terrible. Unwanted. 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 You could want to leave that area as fast as possible. You may want to leave that area. Well, there are things that I like to impart upon you and hopefully give you an idea of how to handle that when you see that going on. Yeah. One, if you're in a clique and you feel that they're, you already start hearing that language of, well, why are you trying to talk to them? Or why are you including them in that? Maybe tell that group leader or that clique leader or other clique, hey, um, uh, I don't think we should exclude them because what if, what if that was you? Wouldn't you not feel wanted? I mean, if you don't want to not feel wanted, that would not feel too nice, would it? Ask the question. Would be ideal. Sometimes people are being, are trying to exclude others without even realizing it. Bring their attention. Hey guys, let's, let's get Gabby in here. Let's get Gigi to join us. Because you know what? In class, she has some great ideas. And man, you should hear, she's so funny. She's so awesome. Open it up. She is awesome, by the way. Open it up. <laughs> Open it up. You know? Allow them to see that, you know what? We're starting to prejudge. We're starting to do these things that make us exclusive. Again, we are different maybe because of what we like. doesn't mean we have to exclude everyone. We can include people but still maintain our individuality. And like, remember I said you could be a group within a subgroup, within a subgroup, so you could do that, it's fine. The problem is not being negative. One of the things I like to hear about when I see these things happening is tell a trusted adult. Does everyone have a trusted adult they can go to? Yeah, pretty sure. Alright, you know, even better. Hands down. Who doesn't have a trusted adult? Courageous, courageous. Thank you. There are some people that may not feel they have a trusted adult to go to. And that's fine. Maybe they're shy. Maybe they don't realize that, hey, teacher such and such, or guidance counselor for this, or that person's mom or dad is a great person to listen to. They can give you ideas. But I'm telling you, cliques, groups, have been formed and forming and will continue to form for a very long time. So I guarantee you those older brothers and sisters and cousins, the mothers and fathers, those adults that you have in your life, might give you some tools and some techniques on how to handle that, okay? Fortunately, time is of the essence, so I cannot give you a lot of different information, but one last thing I want to leave you with when it comes to cliques and groups and being aware of them is one, who are you? You're awesome. Every single one of you guys. And you bring something to the table. You shouldn't have to be part of a group or a clique to feel that importance. And if you do have to be part of a clique or a group to feel that importance, that's fine, I guess. But look at that. Examine those things. Talk to people about it. Find your interests out on your own. It's okay to be an individual. America, I like to say, to say this, they say America's a melting pot, right? You ever heard that, right? Like a big soup, bouillon, goulash, whatever you want to call it, right? Like a big thing of oatmeal, right? What happens when you put everything together like that? I think it looks like muck, you know? Like sludge, like ugh, like it's a bunch of stuff. It's good stuff, but a bunch of stuff. I rather think of America and groups and dynamics like a salad. I love salads. You used to hate salads. Now I love salads. They're everywhere. But what do you have in a salad? croutons and chicken and steak and tomatoes and big tomatoes, small tomatoes, plump tomatoes, cucumbers, all the types of things that you can actually see and take what you want versus take what you don't want. But the sample is there for you. Okay? That's what it should be like to be part of a group of when you see puts in the form. Making that choice. Being that individual. And being who you are. Because you're awesome. Okay? So, Thank you guys for this uh, opportunity to speak to, in front of you today. You guys were great. The studio audience was great. The future audience was awesome. And have a great day and make good choices, okay? So thank you.